Oh, a little bit of an update here. Uh, firstly, I am working on some new songs. I know it's been a minute since I've uh, put up some original stuff. Well, I did have those two, the uh, 60 seconds of, of what is it, uh, 1 minute 40 seconds of Disappointment and Flying Through a Dream. Those are two little uh, songs I put out a while back, uh, which were just instrumentals. And they were mostly instrumentals because I couldn't come up with any lyrics to them. It's really weird. Sometimes I'll have lyrics which end up being just one little verse. And then all of a sudden it's either that or nothing. So I have a couple songs I'm working on right now, which do have some lyrics going into it, which have two verses now. So yay. And hello, Mr. Pickles. Just sneeze all over my guitar. Thank you. Appreciate that. Maeve. Maeve. Okay. Anyway, the reason for this upload is firstly, my Sully 71. Get a look at that sexiness. It is beautiful. This is my pride and joy right now. Uh, SullyGuitars.com. Um, he's a John Sullivan. He's a guitar uh, builder based here in uh, in uh, North Dallas. And these are some awesome guitars that he's had. This is the one and only one I've played of his. But from the community that follows him on Facebook, say that have his guitars, or they just say they're exceptional and. I couldn't agree more. Uh, this one's kind of a, his take on a Les Paul shape, of course, obviously, but with some improvements. Uh, just the body is a lot lighter. It's a mahogany body, I believe, with a kind of a thin flame maple top on there. And it's not too thick. I can't remember if it's a veneer or not, but this is a part of his conspiracy theories is a run three, the Sully 71 which retailed for about 1200 uh, I paid a little more than that along with some upgrades. And the only reason I was able to pay for that is that because he has a payment plan set up on there, which for guys like me and a lot of people out there who don't make a lot of money, uh, that makes it a lot easier to pay for. So you pay a couple hundred a month, uh, for a little while and then you pay the rest of it and pay for upgrades is which is uh, what I did so I paid for a setup and a Brass block which I'll show you here in a minute, but main reason for this video is this little gadget right here And what this is you can see me turning it there Basically if you guys are familiar with the D tuna by EVH this does the same thing, except it doesn't take up as much room as the D-Tuna. This is a tone vice pitch shifter. Can somewhat see the logo right there? Whatever. Anyway, visit tonevice.com. I'll provide links at the bottom in the uh, description of this video. And description of Sully Guitars as well. But what this is, is a pitch shifter that will drop your E string down to D. Let's see. So, that's actually E flat, which is the normal tuning I am in. And you just rotate this little doohickey here. And we're D. Have some, I do have some minor adjustments to make on it. Uh, you do have to kind of fiddle with the tuner a little bit to get that perfect pitch on there. But, that's close. Those are two E strings and they're perfectly in E flat. I uh, just need to make a couple adjustments. But um, again, for the guitar, visit sullyguitars.com. Uh, he does have a run for cat making random noises. Uh, so he does have a run for on there. Uh, he has some really cool guitars, man. His finish is awesome too. And I love purple. And so. <laughs> The D tuna works just like the, uh, I'm sorry, the tone vice works just like the Floyd Rose. <sighs> Can't focus today. I'm just filming this on my phone and I don't ever have a script. I probably should do that. Anyway, so the tone vice works just like the D tuna. So it just lowers the pitch or raises the pitch to E or D. So, and to do that, to keep everything in tune because, you know, this is pretty much a floating bridge. Uh, 
and if we didn't have anything to stop the bridge from moving around, it would just go out of tune. So let me turn the volume down on this and flip this guy over. Oh my God, do it somehow. <sighs> All right, so notice I do have the back cover off of this and it's not because uh, it doesn't fit with the all parts uh, tremolo now on there, which I love. Uh, I do have one of those little ESP uh, trem block blockers on one of my other guitars but i honestly prefer this one a little bit more it's a little more stable I, nothing against that esp version but uh i just did not want to put any screw holes on the, on the, the uh, guitar that i don't have to so this guy little this little guy here i love because it keeps everything stable i also have one of my prs uh which i'm trying to sell actually because this guy is replacing like i said earlier all, almost all my guitars so right now I do have the trem blocked to dive only. And it's because, you know, on a Floyd, if you're floating, you lower one string, all the strings will want to move. So uh, this will just help keep everything in tune a lot better. Because if you don't, it's not going to, everything's going to be off and you'll be adjusting for millennia. Millennia? All right. Anyway, so along with the upgrades to the guitar, we do have a brass, a thick black brass block on there. And my own little upgrade here are the Ernie Ball locking tuners, which you might be able to see. I uh, just tried those. They're real smooth. They're real slick looking. And um, they're holding up pretty well. And they don't make as much noise as the tried and true Dunlop track locks, which I used forever on almost all my guitars. Uh... I'm not a fan of the shallower strap locks because I've had my old Gibson SG just fall apart <laughs> after one of the one of the screws just fell out. I was young, I was in my 20s, so uh, it just fell off, put a huge dent in the bottom, so I ended up filing that down. But anyway, I'm just rambling on here now. But uh, right now, the Sully 71 with a big brass block. Uh, I think that's an Fu Tone block, so love Fu Tone. Those guys are awesome. They, you want to upgrade your floyd that's the place to go so what i have fu tone block all parts tremel now and best part about sully's guitars it comes with locking tuners that just makes everything a lot easier i do have ernie ball strap locks i have this thick three inch strap lock uh strap i have this thick uh padded three inch leather strap, which I found on Amazon. Not too much actually. Uh, it's pretty hefty and it's really comfortable. And I did have that on an agile LP that I have that for some reason, I'm, I'm not a traditional Les Paul guy, but that agile LP, which I found for $300 a few years ago, sounds better than a, a less a $800 Les Paul. But then again, it also has a DiMarzio Crunchy Pad at the bridge, which I, I love that pickup, and a uh, an invader on the in the neck, a bridge invader, mind you. Anyway, but yeah, this guitar is awesome. And then with the upgrades to the the tuners, the strap locks, uh, we have push pull split on both pickups. All the electronics in there are stock. Uh, everything is stock except for the tone vice pitch shifter, the locks and straps, and the tremel now. And this thing is awesome. And I will be putting out some more uh, music here soon. Whether you like it or not, it's going to happen. But um, visit tonevice.com and sellyguitars.com. Thanks, guys.